Okay, quick little view of all our luggage before we uh, send our checked bags in. Each other ski boots and helmets and all that good stuff. Also, I have a backpack too. So we're gonna go check these and uh, head on through to TSA. It's so busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Love an airport beer. <laughs> I gotta figure out how to like do this focusing though. See? Focus on you and then focus on me. Oh. I'll figure it out. Slowly but surely, I'll figure it out. <laughs> on the plane! Made it on the plane! It's like the first hard step, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Smooth flying from here. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> find the shuttle to the hotel. Oh, and go get our bags off of baggage claim. Oh, yeah. I'm tired. I just found out that I left the hat that I literally bought for this trip on the plane. I just scratched myself. I'm kinda pissed about it actually. I mean like it could have been worse. Like I've definitely left my purse on a flight before. So I'm not gonna like go back and ask lost and found for my hat. I swear to God, the last time we were in an airport, I lost my scarf. Mm -hmm. Not stoked. You know what you need to do now? Is or realizes that uh, accessories are not your thing while traveling. Thought it looked so cute. Probably do a room tour at some point, but not right now because now I'm upset. So here, you have our cute little hotel room. I'm gonna unpack our stuff first though. And cute little hotel room, like literally on the edge of the airport. Yeah, it's where we're gonna be. It's where we're gonna live for a week. Nope. No. What? You think we're staying here? This is this is like until like eight or nine a.m. tomorrow. We're leaving like first thing in the morning. This is, wait what? Yeah, you don't think we're staying here? You, you're out of your mind. Why wouldn't I think we were staying here? We're li this is a holiday and we're literally staying at a place called the Cliff. I don't know. Why would why are we staying here tonight? Cause we. Our room's not available until tomorrow. How was I supposed to know that? You must be. He's making me feel worse. I already lost my hat. It had a detachable pom pom. Oh, no. I just no, bought no, it. No. I'm gonna cry. You're not making me feel better. All right, let's go. Hmm. So we're not staying here. <laughs> no, no, this is not a hotel oh. room. Poor <laughs> I mean, you're, I don't stay in hotels a lot. Can I do a quick tour of it anyway? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, welcome to the Ramada Holiday Inn. <laughs> okay, so here's Ian. Oh, how do I focus this? Wait, I got. Uh, welcome to the Double Ramada Holiday Inn Tree ah. Express. Express. You wanna you wanna give us a little tour? 
king bed. Wow, we love it. We love it. Kind of outdated flat screen. Yep. Still nice that they got one. Very cute. Big ass chair that probably never gets used. You were just sitting in it. Desk that probably hardly gets used. You literally just took your contacts out at it. You're cynical. You're tired. <laughs> what else do we got in here? A coat. Someone's coat. Mine. That'd be my coat. We said I didn't lose that. A door that takes us out. <laughs> And a bathroom. Goodbye. My shoes aren't on. My coat isn't on. All right, we're gonna go. Um, think. He didn't even bring the key. I don't think. <sighs> I'm super bummed about my hat. Okay, I'll check back in. Good morning. Um, so Ian just opened the window from our hotel room and I just really gotta show this off. Hold on. So that is where we're going and that's where our hotel for the rest of the time is. It's so pretty. I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice but even on camera it's so pretty. Especially with that little sunrise. I'm so excited. Just got back to the room with some coffee. Thank goodness. Ian is still downstairs. We met up with his parents. They got here. Um, they had a horrible start to their flight. Uh, gotta love an anti-masker who has to turn the plane around to be escorted off by an air marshal. So, um, they are happy that they're here. We're happy that they're here. His brother is here. So they're catching up a little more. Um, but I wanted to come upstairs and start getting ready because we have a shuttle at 9 a.m. that's taking us to a different hotel. So, um, I am gonna get out of my pajamas and get dressed. Okay, so I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to go skiing today since we have to move hotels, but um, Ian says that we are and that the goal is to be on the mountain by noon. So I have a nice base layer on, my leggings, uh, a sports bra, long sleeve. Um, I'll probably wear my ski socks as well. And be ready to get my snowsuit on as soon as we get to the mountain. So. I'm excited. We're gonna go finish our coffees and get on the shuttle shortly. <laughs> Bye, hotel. I should be. It's a really hard mountain. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I'm gonna have to get my get my ski feet back. Yeah, we'll take um, we'll take a couple easy runs for <laughs> you and my mom. Are you gonna come on the easy runs? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You haven't skied in a minute either. No. At least since last year. I think today and tomorrow we'll probably try and take it easy, but then, because then that'll give us, you know, leeway to. And then go, tomorrow we'll go really. Hike, go hike for our turns. No, Friday. Friday we'll go hike for our turns. Hike? You're gonna oh, wait, hike for him? Oh my god. The lifts don't take you high enough. <laughs> I. What? Good. <laughs> that is such a fake mountain. <laughs> 
Let's go check into our room. Okay, we just got into our hotel room at the cliff and um, I can show you exactly why it's called that. This is the view immediately outside of our room. Oh my gosh. You can see the pool down there. It's literally steaming. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, a hot tub. I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, that's phenomenal. I'm not going to do a room tour quite yet because I think we're trying to get on the slopes like ASAP. So, um, I think I'm going to do the rest of, or not the rest of, I think I'm going to do a lot of filming on my phone today just because I don't want to take my new camera on the mountain. That sounds dangerous, especially for klutz like me. So, um, we're going to go do some skiing and then we'll come back, unpack, and I'll do a little room tour. But in the meantime, let's get on the slopes. <laughs> Stand right here. These are some home video, some home video action. <laughs> this is, this is questionable at best. What are you Why is it questionable? Okay, we are back from our first day of skiing. It was so much fun. Um, I'm exhausted. As you can see, I've already showered, changed. I'm now wearing jeans and these super freaking cute fluffy socks. They have grippies on the bottom, so they're pretty much slippers and socks at the same time. Um, I, <laughs> skiing was a ton of fun. I didn't film a whole lot because Ooh, bright lighting. I really had to focus on relearning that skill because it's been, I don't know, about a year since I last skied. Um, also, quick little skiing pro tip that I kind of wish I had heard before today. Um, if you have long hair like I do, braid it before going skiing. Um, preferably two braids on either side so that you have no bumps under your helmet. I didn't braid my hair today. I was actually, I was really proud of myself. I put on my coat and it was all tucked in and I was like, great, perfect. Now it's not gonna be in the wind. It's not gonna be exposed. Yeah, it matted. It matted so badly. Um, it must have been from the sweat, the cold, the wet, everything. We got back from our full day of skiing, took my helmet off and it was just one massive knot. So, um, took a shower and dumped an entire bottle of conditioner on it and Ian actually brushed through the worst of it. So, second pro tip, get yourself a boyfriend that'll do that for you. It was really sweet. And luckily, she has recovered, but it was not a fun process. So, if you have long hair and you're going skiing, um, braid, braid your hair. That's what I'll be doing for the rest of this week because I do not want to do that again. Um, but in other news, we can see the mountain from our hotels. I showed you guys earlier and it looks so pretty right now with the setting sun. Like, oh my God. It's so pretty. So, um, yeah, can't be beat. We can also see the pool from here. We were going to go in after skiing. We were going to go in the hot tub, but it was packed so i think we may wait until after dinner or tomorrow we'll see um but we are actually getting ready to go meet up with ian's parents and his brother for dinner and drinks tonight um i'm not gonna bring the vlog camera because that's weird um yeah see you guys then okay base layer for day two i remembered my braids this time um gonna try and film a little bit more today than i did yesterday but we are also going over to Ulta, um, which is a separate mountain. Ian's already got a snowsuit on. Look at you, base layer, so nice, so nice. Nice new t-shirt too. Thank you. And, oh, oh, let's get that, get that lighting a little bit. Wow, wow. 
So yes, we're going over this mountain, I suppose. And oh my god, no, it's so dark in here. <laughs> And we're going over to Ulta today, um, which is a little bit more difficult than Snowbird. Is that what we did yesterday, Snowbird? Yeah, I mean, they're both really difficult rounds. So, going to try and film a little if bit more. <laughs> right, depending on which trails you do, but going to try and film a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Get some ski shirts. Oh, so nice. Look at that mountain. Don't drop the phone. So pretty. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Tyler thinks I'm so smart doing all this filming on the lift. Wow, that's a far drive. Is that a ski? Oh, no, that's a tree. Wow, that's a long one. <laughs> Whoa, look at that mountain. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that mountain. Look at, look at <laughs> I literally can't see because of the trees. Oh, there we go. That was a cute little shot. Little neck to the well, trees. We're gonna race the blue one up now. Uh, yeah, I can't quite see them now. Coming and around. there was like a coming around the tree. Point five second good go. shot. Okay, yeah, that's kind of nice. I like the red one better, to be honest. I like the red one better too. <laughs> Woo! That's pretty freaking cool. All right, let's turn this off. Uh, sorry. Hi there. Whoa. Whoa. Never done one of these before. Uh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> It's gone now, but it's okay. <laughs> so good. I look like an absolute mess. Um, all right, ignore the flyaways. I've had a helmet on all day. Um, I haven't showered yet because I think we're going to go to the pool. I have my bathing suit on. Uh, Ian just went to ask his parents what the plan is. I am exhausted today. Today was a long day. We did a lot. I got some good footage. I don't know. Not a lot of skiing. A lot of scenery, though. Oh my god, but we did so much. We did Ulta, we did like a ton of Ulta, we did some Snowbird, and then ended at Snowbird, obviously, because that's where our hotel is, but right at the end, it was like, did two runs after lunch, felt good, and then started to do the long run back to Snowbird, and I just hit a brick wall. I was like, things got so hard, my legs are exhausted. So... We did it, um, we're here and got on the mountain. I look about as good as I feel. No, that's not, that's not true. I feel really good. Uh, I feel really accomplished for doing everything that I did today, but um, I'm exhausted. So I think we might go sit in the pool or the hot tub even, uh, yeah. So the pool is 92 degrees and then the hot tub is like 100. So I am down for either. Um, so we're gonna go do that. Pushing her luck, but maybe. Where are we going? Just in the pool. In the pool! Oh, her batteries in here, maybe. <laughs> it's a little full. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, hey. Point it up. Point it up. No, no. Other way. Oh, 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 duh. <laughs> the obvious way. <laughs> That's freaking cool. Wait, we should take a picture of that. Wait, first, cheers. Cheers. This is so cool. <laughs> cheers. Wow. That's pretty gnarly. So steamy. It's day three. We're about to head down to the lockers and I am exhausted. Okay, so just a quick little update. We are back from skiing. Um, we went down to the pool with Ian's brother, Tyler. Um, sat down there, me, Ian, Tyler, had a beer. It was super nice. And now we're getting ready to go to dinner. And I've been told it's gonna be one of the nicest dinners we're going to have while we're here. So um, I got a little dressed up, put on the only dress I brought. Here, let me show you guys. It's this really cute little sweater dress um so this is the fit it's just from amazon i'm gonna be wearing my snow boots with it because i didn't bring sneakers I did some makeup for the first time this trip because i don't know why you'd wear makeup on the slopes so really simple just some cover up blush brows and mascara and some chapstick of course because it is so dry out here it is so dry out here um but let's see if i can turn this back around I thought it would be a good time before going to dinner to give you guys a little bit of a room tour because I haven't done that yet and this place is just so super cute. So I want to show you guys around our hotel room a little bit. We are staying at the cliff and it's super nice but we have all our stuff unpacked and laid out so I thought it would be kind of fun. We are going we are going to start our tour in the bathroom. So this is the front door and you go straight into the bathroom. I have all of our stuff set out, our toothbrushes, my makeup bag, hair stuff, sunblock and aloe vera because the sun is aggressive even though it is freezing out. Um, we do have a shower where our bathing suits are drying. There's actually a lot of drying going on. This is the closet, more stuff hanging, drying because it just gets soaked on the slopes. It's just part of part of the ski life, I guess. Um, some ski socks, again, drying. Our coats and snow pants. We did bring our laptops. This is the beer I'm drinking right now. A uh, little apres ski pre-dinner. It is a Squatters Juicy IPA, India Pale Ale. It's pretty good. So yes, we both brought our laptops. I haven't really used mine yet. I just haven't had a chance to. Uh, and this room does have two beds. So we are using one for some of our extra ski clothing because there you just have so many layers with skiing. Our bags and some dirty laundry over there. This is the bed we're sleeping in, as you can see. A humidifier that we actually pulled out of the closet because again, it is just so dry here. These are the boots I'm gonna be wearing tonight. My little snow boots, super cute. Um, some of our sunglasses, GoPro, cards, more stuff drying. And then, quite honestly, the best part of this whole room, which is the view. I know this isn't the first time I've shown it, but I just cannot get over this view. So pretty, little setting sun action, we love it. It, it just cannot be beat. You can actually see the pool too from here, which is really funny, but also really convenient because like, we don't want to be going down into the pool with a big crowd, so it's nice to be able to look out, just look out our room and see how many people are in the pool before we go down. But yeah, that's a little bit of our room tour where we're staying on our ski vacation in Utah. And now I'm gonna get my shoes on and go meet everyone for dinner. Mm -hmm. 